<clears throat> so it occurs to me that I spend a whole lot of my time uh, just setting up new workspaces. I mean, if I had a four-car garage and a 20-foot bay, I'd probably be a lot farther along than I am right now. But let me show you what's going on here. So yesterday I decided that uh, the weather has settled down enough that I can afford to move some stuff out of the garage. Now, obviously, I can't keep the <clears throat> the wood out in the open because it'll be a problem. But this is where it used to live. I've reclaimed this space, which should make it a little bit easier for me to get some tooling done. And what I've done is I've moved it out to the backyard. Got one of those uh, nifty Harbor Freight 20 foot long, 10 foot wide portable garages. They're not really that portable. It took me like an hour to set the dang thing up. And that was just getting the, the poles put together. If you take a look behind me here, you see I don't have any of the tarps up yet. But I do have a whole bunch of more tarps because this thing does not have sides. So we'll be doing that. I did pick up a whole bunch of lumber yesterday. That was my first day of a four day build. I've got all my bed slats here. A couple of extra studs, some two by fours. This poly wall is gonna be uh, used for my shower enclosure. I probably have way too much of that, but we'll see. And of course, I'll have to frame that shower because it needs a, a, a firm wall to adhere, to adhere the poly wall to with the uh, quarter inch uh, OSB. I might have to change that. I'm not, I'm not sure that OSB is going to be sturdy enough, but we'll see. Shower is not going to get a whole lot of use. It's kind of an emergency thing anyway. As you can see, I got the truck in the backyard again. The ground is finally firmed up enough that I can get away with that. Something interesting has happened, which I need to fix like shortly. <clears throat> the uh, uh, front view camera has a shield on it. And it looks like the screw that was holding that shield in place has snapped off. I don't know if you can see that from here. Try to zoom on that. But that's where it is. So it kind of sucks. Let's take a look and what I've got done in the back. So here we are inside the truck. Ceiling is 98% complete. Part of me wants to just go ahead and move on. Ooh, I gotta move something. Because that wasn't going to land on my head later. I've got the final panels in here. They're not secured along this part. Because this is going to be held up. This is going to be held up by the appearance ring for the fan. Might need to add a patch in here. Should probably do that next. Great big giant hole for all the wiring to come through. However, this section here, pretty much from this point back, is going to be a closet that comes all the way out to here. So this won't be visible 99% of the time. I'm still going to put a wall in though, or uh, walls on it. As you can see, I've got no walls in yet. That's our next stunt. Then we have up here, once again, we'll have to do some fill in here. Maybe a little bit here. The appearance ring will come at least out to here. Then, of course, this being the shower area, shower wall will come all the way up to the ceiling. So it'll be unsupported up here. The front attachment for the ceiling that was going to that was kind of interesting what i ended up doing was cutting 
support boards to hold this up. As you can see, it doesn't flex very much. That's because I've got adhesive in there holding it all in place. And that's pretty much where we are now. So as you can see, I'm making some progress. It's not as fast as I'd like. Uh, I think we're going to do the, the appearance rings for the fans next because the ceiling is essentially done. And then I'll start working on the walls. I was hoping to have the walls done by now. I mean, it's just a couple of big pieces, but getting to that point has been the hard part. And at some point, I'm going to have to break off and completely enclose that temporary garage because there's rain coming and... Uh, I don't want my wood to get wet. However, having that back there is going to be a huge, huge bonus because one of the problems I've been having is one, I can't access stuff in the garage, and two, um, I've been purchasing things that I have room to store as opposed to stuff that I'm going to need at some point. So trying to coordinate what comes to me and when it gets used has been really kind of a big issue. Anyway, thanks for sticking around. I will uh, keep you updated. I've got so much footage that I haven't published yet, and I really need to sit down and just do it one day. Maybe tomorrow, because it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. Or I could go to a gun show. I mean, there's that. I haven't broken off and done a gun show in a long time. Anyway, thanks for coming by. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.